What is up YouTube and welcome to this Avengers Infinity War video. I'm also going to be talking about the Doctor Strange 2 villain as well, which has just been confirmed. So I will start with Doctor Strange 2 because there will be major spoilers for Avengers Infinity War. So Doctor Strange 2 has pretty much confirmed that the villain will actually be Nightmare. So the film's writer has said that me and Scott have not laid the groundwork for it yet, but what I can say is that I have a feeling that whatever Nightmare is involved with, Baron Mordo being somebody who considers himself the defender of natural law will have something to do with it. And he says that for those of you who have ever read the comics, you know that Baron Mordo has a very particular arc, and that's something we discussed with Chidwell, I think that's how you pronounce his name, while working on the first movie, and part of the reason Chidwell, again, sorry if I pronounce it incorrectly, wanted to play Mordo was because he has a definitive ending as a character, and it's such a fascinating ending, and I do know that we're, whether we're attached or not, that Marvel has plans on working towards that ending, and fully realising Mordo as more than just a cardboard cutout villain, but actually taking him to kind of low-key levels of awesomeness. That's the goal with him. So that's good, the fact that Baron Mordo will actually be returning to Doctor Strange 2. There's a lot of twos. Because he was really, really good in that movie. And many of us were expecting him to be one of the main villains of the movie. But he only really becomes the villain towards the end. Once he realises that, well, he's not going to become the Sorcerer Supreme. He's not going to be in charge of everyone. And he kind of is a bit unhappy with how Doctor Strange is actually doing things. And at the end, we see him take people's powers. Now, it's really good the fact that they are focusing over on Baron Mordo. But Nightmare is a really, really cool villain who is actually the ruler of the Nightmare world in the Dream Dimension. So, it makes sense that someone like this will be involved in the movie and personally I can certainly see that Baron Mordo will be the one to unlock Nightmare and bring him to cause havoc on Earth or within uh, the entire dimensions. We know the quantum realm will be explored more in Captain Marvel so we know that the di different dimensions will be a big part of the upcoming movies. So that's going to be really cool seeing Nightmare do this. Quite interesting as well. We've seen a Nightmare realm in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I was expecting Nightmare to be involved in that, but it seems like they're saving him for the MCU, which is really, really important because he's such a big character. So seeing him actually kind of get involved with this will be really, really great. And I can see that maybe, maybe they mentioned Loki, maybe we will actually have Nightmare torment the world and Baron Mordo will be forced to actually work with Doctor Strange, perhaps. But I would much, much, much prefer that Nightmare is being used by Baron Mordo to take on Doctor Strange. Now, next up, we've got the Infinity War spoilers, which are the first 25 minutes of the movie, which have been supposedly leaked. So if you don't want anything spoilt, please do head away now. So, this is the opening scene. It's reportedly the first 25 minutes. Reportedly. So, we'll see how this goes. So, apparently Thanos actually attacks Xandar and he wants to go for the Power Stone. And the Black Order attack. And Nova are completely destroyed. Except Nova Prime, who is then actually taken by Ebony Moore and is tortured, who reveals it was given to Roman, who is leaving Nova with his family. Now, Thanos actually brings that ship down and takes the Power Stone from him, and you think that his family is spared, but in true evil fashion, Thanos actually decides, to, you know what, I'm going to give this Power Stone a test drive, and I will actually use it to wipe out all of the life on the planet. So, he does destroy Xandar like many of us are actually expecting to happen. But, once again, I would take this all with a pinch of salt. Now, Xandar is destroyed, all life is gone, and Thanos actually has a Infinity Stone. So, the cut to Earth, and Iron Man, Spider-Man, and everyone are going about their day. And they're doing, you know, usual kind of everyday superhero stuff. Spider-Man, as we saw in the trailer, is going on a field trip. Not sure where he's going, but that's going to be cut short at the arrival of the Q-ship. However, in space, we are picking up primarily where we left with Thor Ragnarok. So, Loki tells Thor they need to escape the ship now, but the ship comes under fire. And Valkyrie, Heimdall, and Korg 
take some of the survivors away. So that's really important. I'm glad that Valkyrie, Heimdall and Korg survive. Korg was my favourite part of the movie and Valkyrie is one of the coolest characters I think in Thor Ragnarok. She's an absolute badass. I'm glad that they hopefully theoretically survive just for the moment but Thor, Loki and Hulk stay behind to fight Thanos Loki and Thor fight members of the Black Order while Hulk goes after Thanos now that is going to be really really good but Thanos completely wipes the floor with Hulk and well Loki decides that he wants Thanos to spare his brother and in return he'll give him the space stone and Thanos agrees and spares Thor but kills Loki and forces Thor to watch which is quite similar to what we've seen in the trailers so far and is pretty much not out of the realm of possibility. But he flings Thor into deep space and sends Hulk to Earth with the Space Stone. He tells Hulk to let them know he's coming. Okay, that bit is confusing and really, really weird. Because a lot of us were thinking that Loki would be the one to send Hulk to Earth and give them a warning. But it seems Thanos actually wants this warning to come. And I can't see why he would do something so stupid. But there are the villains in the MCU are very kind of typical. Your typical villain sort of thing. So yeah. That, that is a bit stupid. That's the one part of this I really think is stupid. And maybe think that this might not actually be real to be honest. But again this is just a leak. And loads of these actually come out before the movies a lot of them you'll remember before justice league loads of the kind of leaks happened as well but lots of them turned out to be not very true so once again we'll have to see just how true this actually is however that is it for this video please drop a like please subscribe and i'll see you soon and goodbye